Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first video of 2023. Recently I had a project where I was confronted with some requirements that seem pretty difficult in Dynamics around workflows. So who is going to approve the workflows and, and you know who they should go to based on a dollar amount on a project quotation. So one of the things that we, we, we implemented was a, a hierarchy and use that hierarchy in the workflow, which is an out-of-box functionality. So what we're going to do today is going to show you the hierarchy and show you how you can use that in a workflow to steer the workflow approval to a certain user. There's a couple of prerequisites that you need to be made aware of when you do this. So you need system users set up. Those, those system users need to be assigned to employees or workers. Um, so, you know, the normal sort of workflow approval stuff needs to be set up. All right, so we're not going to kind of cover that today. We're just kind of outside the scope of this video. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go want to go into the human resources module and you're going to want to take a look at the positions. And this is a Contoso database. So in here, there's a there's a lot of positions that's, that have already been set up. What I'll do here is I'll um, I'll group by this column. And then so like I said, I'm going to be dealing with a project manager and a in a, in a project worker. So let's go scroll down here and we'll find, we'll find those, those roles. And my, my user today is assigned to, uh, uh, Julia Thunderbrook. So Julia is assigned to, as a project team member in a position, and we're going to have a report to Ron Owens. Okay. Now these positions are fairly straightforward to set up. You, you basically, create the position and then assign a worker to the position. So let's go ahead, let's drill into the position here real quick uh, that I created for us. So what you do, once you set up the position, so I set up a, a team member position that I assigned that to Julia Thunderbook, um, started on the 9th, it's never ending, and then also assigned a report to, so I'm reporting it to uh, position uh, 428, which is assigned to Ron Owens. Now you can kind of check to see if you've done this correctly is if you go up to view and hierarchy and you should see a hierarchy of where you've assigned your various positions to different roles and reports to. So in, in our, the case that we're looking right now, we've assigned Julia uh, Funderbrook the project team member role position and then Ron Owens is a project manager position and then we're having Julia report to that position. If we went in and looked at any of these other roles, we would see that, for example, Ron Ron is a, is a uh, reporting to Vivian, Vivian's reporting to Jen, Jen's reporting to Andrew, and Andrew's reporting to Charlie. So you want to build your hierarchy up so that your reporting structure is correct for your workflow. And there are ways to override that. We won't cover that cover that in this video, but this is just a basic overview of the hierarchies. But in a, in a future video, I'll show you how you can actually override this hierarchy to do use different in different workflows. But for this simple example, we're going to assume that this is the reporting structure up through the the chain here. So the requirement for a customer is um, if the project quotes under a thousand dollars, we're going to have that auto approve. And then if it's greater than 1,000 up to 2,000, Ron's going to prove it's greater than 2,000, Vivian's going to prove it's greater than 3,000, Chin's going to prove, et cetera, et cetera, up on the chain. All the way up to greater than 5,000, then Charlie will approve. Okay? So let's take go into the workflow uh, generator here. So this is the project quotation workflow. I've gone ahead and opened this up. And so it's a pretty straightforward workflow. We've got a start and an end node, and then a project quotation, the approval node here. So let's go ahead and level down into that. And the first thing we did was um, went into the automatic action. So remember, one of our requirements was, you know, if the value is less than a thousand, uh, I'm going to change that to less than and equal to there. So, so basically, if it's nine ninety nine or less, we want this to auto approve. So that that rule is pretty straightforward. You're probably used to to doing that type of rule. And then what what I did from there was I drug the step node in, into into the uh, workflow here for these different steps. So if we take a look at the lowest level here first, and I'll go into the basic settings. So this is the less than 2,000 greater than or equal to 1,000. And if we look at the assignment, this is the important part. So if you're used to using workflows, you, you may be used to assigning it to a workflow user or a user, uh, but what we're gonna choose is hierarchy. And then if we go into the hierarchy selection, we wanna make sure that we've chosen managerial hierarchy. Um, start from, I'm sorry, from the workflow originator, whoever 
uh, submitting the workflow. And then in my hierarchy, I'm looking for where the job title is project manager. So basically what that's going to do is it's going to, if I'm submitting and I'm submitting it as Julia, it's going to go up my hierarchy and look for a, a job role that's, that's um, project manager. So you've got a lot of different criteria you can add in there. You don't have to do it this way, but this is a, this is a way to do it um, for, through job title. Okay. And then the other important part to these nodes is the condition. So this, this step should only run when the following condition is met. And so we're, we're doing a project quote. So when the invoice amount is less than 2000 or, and the invoice amount is greater than a thousand. So if it's basically, it's falling between 1000 and $2,000 USD, we want this step to run. So what you want to do when you're setting these up is you want your, your, greatest one first. So it's going to roll through all these different conditions and stop when it gets to the, the final condition. So I generally set mine up from the highest to lowest. So if we look at the five, greater than 5,000 condition, let's go into the assignment on this one. Again, we got a hierarchy, the hierarchy selection. So I want to, the value is president. So any quote that's over $5,000, I want the president to be the approver. And then the condition in here is where the invoice amount is greater than 5,000. Now, another one you may want to use in the hierarchy options, you may want to just assign only the last user retrieved. Theoretically, you should only have one, but maybe, you know, belt and suspenders here, you may want to go ahead and uh, uh, choose that one. So now that we have our, our workflow set up, if we go back into dynamics um, here, and let's go to our project quotation. Again, this will work on any quote or any type of workflow. I'm just using a project quotation as an example. So if we go down to the project management and accounting module here, and we'll go to project quotations. We've got a project quote here. So I've got two here. So one is less than a thousand. So let's go ahead and drill into this one. So basically I've got one fee line in here for 150. Let's go in, we'll submit that to workflow and submit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and submit the other one as well. So the other one, is a thousand to two thousand to less than two thousand. So uh, if we go into that one, so I've got one line there's so eleven hundred and fifty dollars. We'll go ahead and submit that to workflow and submit. Now what we should see is we should see that um, when we go into the uh, less than a thousand dollar one, we should see it go to approve. So let's go in the workflow and just see may not have run yet. Uh, it's submitted right now. I'll pause the video here for just a second and we'll wait for this to run. Okay, so we're back and we saw that the the uh, workflow ran. So this one, remember, is the auto approve because it's less than $1,000. So it basically went through an auto approve. Let's close out of the workflow history there and we'll refresh. We should see it go to approved, okay? Now, if you remember our other quotation, it was for 1150, so we should see that pop up to the project manager role and then be assigned to the project manager. So let's go into the workflow history here and take a look at that history. And we'll see that it's gone through all the different conditions. So it tried the 5,000 and it was false. The 4,000 was false. So it rolled through all the different conditions until it got down to the, the 2,000 to 1,000. And then that's assigned it to Ron Owens. So then if we get down here, we've got it assigned to Ron Owens. Okay. So again, this is a pretty handy feature if you, to set up your hierarchy and make sure that, that that's hitting the right person as it's going up. Okay. So I hope you found some value in this video. We'll cut it off there. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.